Hi everyone, so we're going to look at disguise quadratics. So this is our lesson two within the um, equations and inequalities pack. This is a 2023 version as well. Two different ways, two different times you get you to see these. One is if you just need to rearrange them where it kind of looks like a, a quadratic-ish. So like, if you look at this one, if I multiply three by x, I get an x squared, and I get a minus 18, and I get a 3x. Please be careful because what people do is you just take the x up on the other side, but you've not actually done that. You've multiplied each term by x. So please be careful with that. And if I make it look like a quadratic, there we go. I've got that now, so I can just put that straight into poly, and it gives me x is minus 3. Or x is 6. There's one for you, have you seen the being a bit sneaky here? Because it's like an x plus 4 over x is equal to 5. So we'll multiply 3 by x. So your thing will do this one. Multiply 3 by x, rearrange it, and solve it. So we've got another one here. So if I multiply 3 by the common denominator, so if I multiply 3 by x squared, I get 20 over x squared times by x squared is 20. I get minus 1 over x times by x squared, which would be minus x. And then I've got 1 times x squared. Then if I rearrange it to make a 3 term quadratic, is the lingo. And that gives me x squared plus x minus 20. Stick it into poly with 1, 1, minus 20, and I've got x is minus 5, or x is 4. Same with this one, multiply 3 by x squared, so make sure you do this one, don't just it up, and that works nicely. Uh, we've got another one here for this next one, so my common one for multiply 3 by here is the is the x plus 2. So I've got x minus 1, x plus 2 is equal to 4. If I expand the brackets, it's an x squared, it's a plus 2x minus x is plus x, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, it's 4. So I've got x squared plus x minus 6 is 0. Stick that into poly, put 1, 1 minus 6 in poly, gives me x is minus 3, or x is 2. So I've got this one here, same idea, multiply 3 by x minus 1, and that works nicely. Right then, so this is the one which is a little bit dodgy. It looks like a quadratic. If you look, the power is doubled. So it's a times something squared minus four times something plus c. Right. So my something here is x squared. That's my something there. So if you think of it as x squared, or one lot of x squared, all squared, minus four lots of x squared, minus five is equal to zero, that is of the form of a quadratic. Now some people will say, okay, y is equal to x squared, so they'll have it as like one lot of y, minus, or one lot of y squared, I should say, minus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. I don't bother with that. I just put, because I've got it in the right form, I just put it into poly. So I'll put 1 minus 4 minus 5 into poly. If you do that, it gives you minus 1, and it gives you 5 out. Now then I've got to remember, what's my something? So I've got my something here. So this is like my something is equal to the roots. I 
and my something was x squared. So x squared there. So x squared is equal to 5. That will give me a plus or minus root 5. That's quite easy. And what I'm kind of doing now is seeing where the graph of y equals x squared will cross the line 5. And there's two definite answers there. Got a root 5 and a minus root 5. Now be careful with this one because what I'm trying to say is where the graph y equals x squared crosses a line minus 1. Well, it doesn't. And you'll have done, well, you can't square root a uh, negative. Well, this is why, from the picture, that doesn't work. So this has no real solutions, it's not. No real solution there. So I've got my answer, it's just x is plus or minus root 5. So there's one for you, so if you look, my something is x cubed this time. So let's see how they've done it, because they changed it to y and what have you done. There. So I'm happy with this here. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with that there. So I'm just going to use poly with 1 minus 7, 12 in it. And I'm going to remember that my something is equal to the roots. So my roots are a 4 and a 3, but my something is x cubed. So I've got x cubed is equal to 4, or x cubed is equal to 3. And that gives me the cube root answers. So I don't put that bit in the blue box there. So let's have a look at this one then. I'm going to slightly rearrange it. I'm going to have it as minus x. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be a rebel. But it's going to be nothing like the completed pack. I'm going to take it all over to the other side, but I'm going to put it in, in a form that works. Now, is that a half? Is it like a third? It's a third, isn't it? So I'm going to take it all over the side, so I'm going to have an x to the power two thirds minus five lots of x to the third plus four. And I'm going to spot that this power is doubled. So because I've got a power doubled, I've got a power and I've got a number, it's a disguised quadratic. So my something is x to the power of third. So I'm going to put into poly 1, minus 5 and 4. So let me do that in poly. Uh, 1 minus 5 and 4, looking carefully at something that time. 1 minus 5, 4. Can't help myself, but nothing. So I've got a 4 and a 1. So I've got it equal to 1 or equal to 4. But that's something is equal to my roots. And the something is x to the power of third, and x to the power of third. To get rid of power third, I want cube root. I want cube root. Sorry, because it's cube root. So I've got x is one one cube. X is four cubed. They might have done something different here. If you look. That's an x to the power 1, and that's an x to the power of half. So I would rearrange this as, as x to the power of half all squared, if you want to do it that way, minus 13x to the power of half plus 36 is equal to 0. Put a 0 there if you want. Uh, but you spot that it was kind of the. Uh, uh, so I wouldn't bother with that part. But I would, I mean, I'd take it over to the other side, but I'd have the, the half squared bit first. 